Okay, I just found out, X fans, that I need to haul the equivalent of a regimental combat team worth of teenagers up into the mountains for activities. And this will disrupt our Efficient Act series, but cannot less let a chance for good science pass. So a little digression, just for fun. I hope you'll indulge me. You may recognize this axe. I use this in the axe arenas. This is a three and three quarters pound Grand Forge Brook swamper pattern, all right? A vintage swamper pattern, big double bit. And we use it in the axe arenas. It did not advance because it has a danger zone edge on it. Danger zone edge. This is a 17 and a half degree um, angle right there. Way, way low, okay? Getting down there into racing axe level. And if you recall, it actually did start to roll. It started to break down. That was kind of at the edge of its capabilities, clearly. Um, and so it did not advance. Had on the other side here a 25 degree convex grind that did just fine. So what I always wanted to do though, let's go back to this ax and let's smooth this out, resharpen it, right? Take this one down a little bit more, maybe to 20 degrees, right? So you got a 17 and a half and a 20. And let's go back out to the woods and let's see if we can find maybe some techniques. Uh, maybe a micro brevel. Mm, yeah. That can help us uh, get the most out of these super aggressive angles. Or maybe the steel just can't take it. Also a possibility. Here's what I'll use. And I'll get a chance to try out for the first time my Julia Kalthoff 1000 Grit Swedish Sharpening Stone. Oh, man. World premiere on the Kalthoff Sharpening Stone. Let's see if it absorbs water. I don't think it will. I think that's a pretty hard stone. That's a pretty hard stone. Okay. All right. Yeah, not a lot of water absorption. Oh, it feels good. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. That has a good feel. Look at that nice slurry though. Look at that. Slurrylicious. So we've got a lot of snow and the only way to get to the trees I want to work on or any kind of stand that's worth um, a video is with snowshoes. So we're gonna get these old guys out. I have not used them all winter. I'm gonna trek off and leave the cabin behind to find science. Yes. Holtzbrook Agdor, a big Grand Forge Brooks Swamper Cold Steel Trail Boss. Just to make a point. So the purpose of this experiment is to retest that edge on the Grand Forge. Got it nice and sharp again, okay. On the nastiest, grossest, hardest, coldest wood I could find within snowshoe distance of the cabin. So this is not the thing we'll do the trick and there's, I'm, I'm not trying to work on my technique or anything here. I'm just trying to deliver maximum force to that angle and see if we can get it to, to roll again. I expect it will. And I brought some other axes along to compare their performance uh, with the Grand Force. Unfortunately or unfortunately, I'm not sure. Uh, the edge just isn't rolling. We're not getting it this time. It's way colder than the first time out. Um, this wood is just as hard. I, I, I'm not seeing a difference in you know, the subject here. Uh, but this time, we're not getting any kind of the damage and the roll that we had the first time. So I'm just uh, bashing away uh, to try to see if we could recreate the situation because, you know, without some rolls here, if this isn't beyond the capabilities of this steel, uh, no doubts that the Holtzbrook's going to be fine. I have no doubts about that. So maybe there's some other factors in play. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking like, oh, this wood is soft. It's not as hard. It's then got, you know, it's not the same. So any axe would do fine. Well, that's why we brought the trail boss. 
I really like the Trail Boss. I like the Cold Steel Trail Boss. For the price, what do you want? It's great, it's a great axe. And kudos to Cold Steel, because actually this um, affordable little axe comes with a really aggressive angle. 18 degrees on mine, 18 degrees. Okay, so it's brilliant. This is brilliant. This is out of the box. Anyone will start chopping away on wood and it just feels amazing and does a great job. Look at it, it does a great job. It's far more comfortable to swing than my big grand scores. But let's take a look at the steel after we do some chopping. All right, there's a reason they're able to hit that price point. So all of these axes were, were brilliant sharp when I took them out, right? You saw me finish up the Grand Ford, but even the cold steel, razor cutting sharp. It was nice, it was really nice. We want good sign. But our efforts, right? Was that wood soft? Maybe, but here we go. Our efforts just did not result in the same kind of damage that we experienced the first time out in the woods there. And you can see, this is still pretty good. This is still pretty good. If I was better at cutting paper, it would be even better. All right, how'd the cold steel hold up? Well, you know, even visually, you can see, okay, what that wood did to my once really nice angle, okay? Is it gonna cut paper? No, I don't know, let's do it, let's do it. Let's see. All right, I'm not trying to fudge this. I'm not trying to fudge this. I'm trying to do a good job, just. It's just not there, all right? You have quite a bit of wear. It's just not there. You have quite a bit of wear uh, across the whole length of the bit. So, so that wood wasn't entirely cream puff wood, okay? Started to wear down the cold steel really quick. So our Grand Force Danger Zone Angle uh, held up a lot better this time. And maybe we should take a look at why. But our time is up and there'll have to be another video. Thanks for watching. We gotta get back to the main wedge.